Hola, my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for my lovely Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. How are you, Virgo? I hope you guys are doing amazing. Before we get into your reading, I do want to give you guys a quick update. We are now open for those of you guys that are trying to set up private consultations. Now is the time to reach out. Keep in mind, we do book rather quickly. We are now booking for March and April. So just putting it out there for you guys, okay? All right, Virgos, let's get into your reading. Let's see what spirit has for you guys in regards to love and romance. Now, your first card here is the Princess of Wands, okay? This could be quick communication coming in. This is uh, really feeling inspired, feeling like you are... I'm almost feeling like, like I know something's coming, but I don't know what it is. Like, that's how you're feeling right now, Virgo. Um... It's a feeling of fast movement moving forward, the Six of Swords, being able to um, go towards a better, calmer, more stable uh, connection here with the Six of Swords. Six of Swords is moving on from a situation that did not work for us. This can also indicate travel for some of you guys. Beautiful energy here, Virgo. Love is definitely coming towards you. So that's that's what's coming. <laughs> if you've been feeling like something's coming, I don't know what's going on, Pinky. That's what it is. Love is coming towards you. For some of you guys, you may be dealing with the person that you met while traveling. For others of you, it could be a connection that happened, um, not necessarily where you're originally from. So this could be either travel. This could be business travel. This could be uh, people bringing this individual to you and they them introducing them to you. Um, but I definitely do see new beginnings here for you guys. Uh, uh, Princess of Wands is all about movement. It's all about passion or going on a new journey with the Six of Swords going on a new journey journey towards a new beginning when we're talking about love and romance here. Now, your partner's cards is temperance here. So you may be dealing with a Sagittarian type of energy. This could also be your spirit guides guiding you towards this unionship, towards this connection here. We have the chariot card, fast movement, Virgo. This is a beautiful card. This is success. This is triumphant. This is being able to feel like you're in control of your own life. And, and this is the energy of the person that's coming in. So you may be dealing with the Sagittarian. You may be dealing with a Cancer. Um, this is an individual that is very patient. This is a person that knows exactly what it is that they want. It could be a person that takes their time um, it's almost like they want to build a friendship before starting any type of relationship. So they really want to get to know you, Virgo. With the chariot card, very quick movement. This is a person that is in control of their emotions. Like I said, they know exactly what it is that they want. The two of pentacles could represent um, almost feeling like they need to find balance in their life. This could be a person that perhaps in the past was very consumed uh, with work, with their finances, with their career type of energy here with the temperance and the chariot. Uh, two of pentacles is having the need to find balance. I feel that for those of you guys that are already dealing with this individual or with this new beginning, this new connection, um, there may be almost like a feeling like that there is definitely some promise in this connection, but it could be that they're slow in the making of taking action. So you may be a little bit frustrated, Virgo, because they're not moving as quickly as you would want. However, the reason for that is because, again, this person is very meticulous to the energy that they put in. So what I mean by that is they are looking for quality over quantity. Uh, to them, they see as spending time as value. Time to them is value. So it's almost like time is money to them. And this is a person that will not invest in you or put time in you unless they feel that there is a genuine connection, unless they feel um, that you are a person of quality, like I said, versus quantity. Um, so I definitely see them making, kind of trying to juggle, figure out uh, if it's worth pursuing. However, I do see them making the choice and the decision to move forward with this connection. And I feel that once, once they decide, once they feel like they're ready to move things forward, it's going to happen very quickly here with the chariot right at the center. So very beautiful energy, Virgo. Let's see what energies you need to take on for the remainder of February 2021. Let's see. Oh, okay. We have, yeah, we have the Prince of Wands here. So the Prince of Wands is that of communication. 
Um, but it also speaks about having the need to be very confident in yourself. This is um, the messenger. This is the person that uh, takes on the journey and doesn't really hesitate or doesn't really doubt in what may or may not come from this connection. So I feel that what they're telling you is go into this connection, uh, Virgo, without very strong high expectations. Uh, because the moment you put expectations or you're wanting a specific outcome, the more you create resistance in that connection to flourish or to evolve organically. So what they're telling you here is go with the flow. Uh, don't really, you know, don't be so attached to the outcome. Oh, I want to settle down. I want to get married or I want a relationship really bad. No, what they're telling you is enjoy the time and the process of getting to know each other. And if passions rise, nothing wrong with a little passion in our lives. And this is the person's um, energy. So the seven of swords. Okay, so I feel that the energy that they're coming towards this connection is feeling a little bit, um, feeling a little bit like they're unsure. Like I said, I, I feel very highly that they're over here really thinking about it. Um, with the seven of swords, this could indicate like them not being completely honest with themselves about how they feel for you. And it could be because there is some type of fear of maybe this person really, you know, has a tendency of loving and when they love, they love really hard. Um, and I know that sometimes, you know, dealing with clients, it's not very rare that uh, some people find a strong connection, but when they do find a strong connection, it is life changing. And I feel that for this person that's coming in, or you may already be dealing with them. I feel that they're scared of losing control of their emotions because they feel like they don't know how to control um, either their emotions or they don't know how to not lose themselves in a relationship is what I'm hearing. OK, that makes more sense. Um, so it's kind of like when a person is so emotionally invested that you forget about every single other aspect of your life. I feel that this person has a tendency of doing that. It's like they rarely love, but when they do, they give it their all. They give it their all to the point of kind of losing themselves. And I feel that that's the fear here. The seven of swords doesn't necessarily mean that they're coming in with bad intentions. Um, this could represent that the person is very guarded, that they're not being honest or truthful with themselves. Um, and the reason for that could be from past experiences. So give me one second. Let me clarify. Spirit guides, why is the seven of swords here? Clarify the seven of swords for me, please. Why is the seven of swords here? If you can clarify the seven of swords, please, with the energies of this person coming in. Spirit guides, please clarify. Oof. Okay. Well, we have, yeah. Eight of cups. So... The reason why they're so fearful or not being completely honest with themselves is because something within them, there is a fear of either rejection or there is a fear of being left. So there is a fear of abandonment here, abandonment issues. So it could be that in the past, um, either they, you know, really committed themselves to a relationship where the person betrayed them, where the person hurt them or walked away, or... Um, could have walked away from this connection being deceitful um i don't want to jump into that because i feel that that's like that would be their reading not your reading virgo but i feel that this person is carrying a lot of past trauma um and that's the reason why they're holding on very tightly to their heart uh so again that could be the reason why they feel like they need to really put effort in getting to know someone before they decide they want to invest more time because they know where it's going to lead. Do you see what I'm saying? Um, so again, my advice to you here with the Knight of Wands, with the Prince of Wands, sorry, uh, with the Prince of Wands is to um, remove any expectations in this connection, especially if you're dealing with someone new. Uh, remove the expectations so that you can have fun with it, so that it could be more of something of pleasure rather than like a responsibility that they may feel um kind of like 
if you got a person that is dealing with things where they feel like they have abandonment issues, obviously they're not going to want to connect with you uh, very quickly. They're not going to want to feel that strong connection. Um, and then here you are, this is what I'm looking for in a relationship and I want a commitment. And if you're not looking for a commitment, then let's not go out or let's not hang out anymore. You're kind of removing um, the organic flow that they're telling you you need to allow. Yes, you can think that Virgo, but think it in your head. <laughs> don't speak. Don't speak to them about that. Um, let things unfold the way they're supposed to so that this person could be able to bring their guard down and fully be able to open up. The temperance here can also represent that they are currently still going through a healing or uh, that they've been healing. And this is why this connection could be a bit scary. Um, so again, be patient is what they're saying. I hope that this message gives you clarity and insight. I wish you guys the very best and we'll see each other soon. Bye.